Hello, it's Will Best, your Roadmap reporter here. The past decade has seen a surge in the popularity of veganism. There are now an estimated 500,000 vegans here in the UK, and that number is rising. But what's driving this trend? Well, for many, the answer is simple, climate change. According to the UN, meat and dairy production accounts for an estimated 14.5% of the world's greenhouse gases. So, to many, going vegan makes good environmental sense. Yet a lot of us are reluctant to give up the food we love. But what if there were good alternatives? Could they be just as delicious? I've come to the UK's first vegan cheese shop in Shoreditch, East London, to find out. Rachel. Hi, Hi. Will. Nice to meet you. Welcome to La Marjorie. Thank you very much. This is very exciting. I've never been in a vegan cheesemongers before. We are the first one in the UK, so there aren't many of us. So, oh, amazing. Yeah, that well, might be why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait to find out more. Rachel, first things first. Why a vegan cheese shop? Is there a big demand for this? Yes, definitely. There's a huge demand in the UK. A lot of people do want to go vegan or they want to go plant-based with their diet. Um, but it's quite difficult because we all usually love dairy cheese. Everybody loves cheese. It's one of the biggest things, the biggest problems for people looking to give up dairy. Are you finding that a lot of your customers are getting into a vegan diet for environmental reasons? The environment and climate change is a massive factor in people deciding to go vegan and we are learning more and more about it in the news recently and there's a lot of data coming out regarding the effect of agriculture on the environment. Well I guess the important thing is, you know, if people are going to go vegan, they want to still have really good delicious things to eat. I'm ashamed to admit I've never eaten vegan cheese. You should be. That's a travesty. Yeah. Um, would you like to try some vegan cheese now? I thought you'd never ask. All the cheeses Rachel sells are made of nuts and plant oils instead of dairy fat. This is a selection of some of my favourite cheeses. Um, we have a mixture of almond, soy milk and cashew cheeses. So which one would you like to try first? Well, I'll probably go for the one nearest me, but I, I just... I'm nervous that I'm not going to like them that much. I mean, I've tried some vegan alternatives before and I haven't been yeah. that impressed. These are very different to the ones you get in the supermarket, so it's definitely worth a try. Okay, so I'll start with this one. Yeah, so that one is a cashew-based cheese, and it has a nice cheddar-y flavour to it. So it's great for people who miss cheddar. Mmm. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> it's really soft, and it does have a really cheesy tanginess to yeah. it. Yeah. The next cheese we have is called Vegan Zola. It's so good, it really does taste like gorgonzola and a delicious one. Yeah. This is called pepper with lots of H's at the end. <laughs> it's a really savoury, creamy cashew cheese with black pepper on top. That is really good. That, it's really strong, it's really got yeah. that kind of tanginess. And then you're getting the pepper through. It's so cheesy, it's, it, oh, that is. Yeah. <laughs> have a bit more of that. Go ahead. Mm. So which cheese is your favourite so far? It's very close. I can't really decide between the Veganzola and the Peppar. They're both excellent. Maybe right now I'm in more of a Peppar mood. That's fair. That, that is one of my favourites. I could scoff a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Our tasting session is interrupted by a delivery. Mike Moore is one of a new generation of vegan cheesemakers trying to keep up with the growing demand. Mike, who makes the vegan Zola. Ah, yeah. I'm a fan of your work. Oh, great to hear it. It's nice to meet you. Nice I'll to meet you too. you guys to chat, yeah? Yeah, great, great. Cheers. Yeah. Mike, how did you get into making vegan cheese? So I went vegan about two years ago now, and after that, there was just no cheese on the market that I was really happy with, so I decided I might try and make my own. Yeah, so I started experimenting. I came up with, finally, a blue cheese that I was happy with, the Vegan Zola. And yeah, I thought I'd quit my job and try and make a business out of it. What, what business were you doing before? Before that, I was doing banking, so a real change. Yeah. Um, but yeah, much, much happier now doing uh, something I enjoy and passionate about. And business is going well? And business is going really well, thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. 
Thanks very much, mate. Really good to Cheers. meet you. Cheers. Really nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, keep up the good work. Cheers. Rachel, thank you so much. This has been great. Thanks for letting me taste the cheese. That's no problem at all. Um, so, vegan cheese, are you convinced? I am. I'm completely convinced. It's delicious. It tastes really cheesy. I loved it. Thank you. Brilliant. I'm really glad you enjoyed. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Well, there you go. I am converted. I've learned something really important today, and that's that thanks to people like Rachel and Mike, you don't have to compromise on taste and flavour to do your bit for the planet. This is Will Best, your Roadmap Reporter, signing off. <laughs>